Hey guys, Brad Scott's taking us to Edgecombe. He's going to talk to us about earthquakes. What are they? What causes them? What are their impacts and the potential hazards? We're going to look a little bit at the historic Edgecombe earthquake and then look at what you can do to prepare for them to make sure you can get through it. We've just come into the outskirts of Edgecombe around some farmland with Brad Scott from GNS Science and look behind us you can see Putoaki, Mount Edgecombe. This must be quite a geologically active area. Brad and also wanted to ask you about earthquakes. What causes them? What, what are they? Okay, An earthquake in its simplest form is a rock that's breaking. So when the rocks break that generates an earthquake. It's when the rocks snap. And here we are, we're in the volcanic zone, we've got volcanoes around us, but it's also an area where there's a whole pile of ground movement. The ground is stretching apart, the rocks have been pulled apart, and every so often they break and they go up or go down as a consequence of that. So this is just an area where the rocks are moving, lots and lots of movement are happening, and we end up having lots of earthquakes. And that's, um, that's got, uh, it's related to the, the tectonic plates as well? That's right, it, it's, it's a, this is a byproduct of the plate boundary, that New Zealand's on a plate boundary and there's a whole pile of movement happening across that boundary. And we've got a real mix here, we've got the volcanoes as part of the plate boundary and we've got the ground deformation or the movement of the ground occurring as well. And when the ground moves it ultimately breaks and we end up with the earthquakes. So Brad, thinking about you know that, that the rock breakage like you say, that all that tension under the ground and the movement within the earth, that's obviously going to have some, some potential hazards and, and effects from those events. That's right, um, so when a large earthquake happens, I mean, we experience the shaking, so the ground all shakes, and, that, and then we get the displacement of the ground, the, the fault moves, and the ground might go up, it might go down, or it might move to the left or right. Um, if there's hills around, we'll get landslides coming off the hills. If there's rivers around, the course of the river, or the depth of the river may change, and we'll get flooding. Um, so yeah, there's a whole pile of hazards and sort of impacts that happen when a, a large earthquake happens. Yeah, oh, well that's great Brad, it's, it's good to know a little bit more about the science of these natural hazards and because uh, you know that's obviously going to help you, you know, prepare for the potential impacts that might affect you in one of these events.